Questions adoption of the resolution. Gentleman from the 48th on adoption. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I rise today to recognize um, the upcoming date of March 10th as Tibet Day. March 10th falls on a Saturday this year, so we're going to be speaking about it today. Um, I'd like to recognize in the back of our chamber um, a good friend to many in this chamber and in the other chamber on both sides of the aisles, our Assistant Senate Sergeant at Arms, Sherab Latsang. I asked Sherab to uh, be here today so he could be a part of this and even though he would rather not be publicly recognized, we like to do it anyways. Um, as many of you know, Sherab is a proud Tibetan American. He's a proud Wisconsin public servant and he's a member of the Wisconsin Tibetan Association. We're very fortunate in this state to have a connection to the Wisconsin Tibetan Association and to Tibetans worldwide and to have been addressed in this body by His Holiness the Dalai Lama a number of years ago. <clears throat> this year, the Dalai Lama will be receiving the Congressional Medal of Honor in recognition of his commitment to finding a nonviolent solution to the conflict in Tibet. It is that commitment to nonviolence that has kept the Tibetan cause alive and that has saved thousands, if not tens of thousands, of lives over the years. On March 10th, we commemorate Tibetan Uprising Day. It will be for the 48th anniversary next week of the invasion of Tibet by the Chinese army. It was during that invasion that His Holiness the Dalai Lama fled where he into India where he now resides. And since then, at least another 130,000 Tibetans have had to flee their country. Two to 4,000 still flee annually, escaping violence, prejudice, and religious persecution. Tens of thousands of Tibetans have been killed, tortured, and imprisoned by the Chinese government. <clears throat> With today's resolution, we remember this invasion, and we bring attention to the situation in Tibet today. And Mr. Speaker, I would like to dedicate today's resolution in honor of the memory of 17-year-old Kalsang Namso, a Tibetan nun who on September 30th was shot dead by Chinese soldiers as she and a group of refugees attempted to flee Tibet. Eyewitnesses described the scene in the following manner. We saw the Chinese military kneel down, take aim, and open fire on the Tibetans some of whom were as young as seven. One of the nuns walking directly behind Kelsong said, they were shooting all around. When the shooting started, I just prayed. When a bullet hit Kelsong, she collapsed into the snow, crying that she had been hit and asked for help. But it was too late. The 17-year-old nun lay mortally wounded, shot dead by a Chinese soldier. Mr. Speaker, this is but one of thousands of acts of brutality carried out by the Chinese government against the people of Tibet. Today we pause to honor the Tibetan people, to pray for an end to the violence, and for a peaceful resolution to this conflict. Thank you. Gentleman from the 77th on adoption. Mr. Speaker, thank you, and thank you to the Speaker for scheduling this for consideration today. I thank the gentleman from 48th who, who spoke at length, and I'll speak just briefly. But I do want to speak on this resolution. We, we in Wisconsin have been enriched over the last two century and a half by many waves of immigrants. Uh, many of us trace our, our background to the immigrants who have come to this state. One of the more recent immigrant groups have been the Tibetan Americans, many of whom live in my district. And they have added, as previous immigrant groups have, a great deal to our state and our community. But I especially rise because I, I want to call attention to the courageous fight that the Tibetan people, both those who live in this country, those who live in other countries, and those who still live in China, have waged for freedom. And those of us who value freedom, and I imagine that's all of us in this room, I think are inspired by the efforts 
of the Tibetan people to resist the injustices done to them by the Chinese Communist government over the last almost 50 years. This is a proud people with a long and storied heritage and traditions who have been denied the ability to practice their religion and to live according to the traditions because of the government that has conquered their country and left them without their freedom. The fight that they've, that they've waged in a peaceful and nonviolent but courageous manner has, I think, inspired the world, and I thank the body for passing this resolution. It is part of an effort that I hope will soon bring freedom to the people of Tibet. Questions, adoption of the resolution? All those in favor of adoption will signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion carried. The resolution is adopted. The gentleman from the 39th. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You ask suspend rules immediately. Message AJR 22 to the Senate. Gentleman from the 39th, ask unanimous consent to immediately message your action to the Senate. Is there any objection? Hearing none, the resolution is in the Senate.